Today in Vatican City, they're holding a celebration of the birth of the Roman Catholic Sun Child. The first thing I find interesting is that they've actually placed the depiction directly underneath the Star of Ishtar, the Eastern Star of the Mystery Religions. If that isn't blatant enough, you can see that the star is being propped up by an Egyptian obelisk. So straight off you can see that this is a counterfeit copy, a mirror of the real thing. Then of course you've got this giant cabalistic tree and also accompanied by other ancient symbology that should make it absolutely clear that this represents the birth of the sun god of the Babylonian mystery schools. The Feast of the Immaculate Conception that took place just a day before this festival is simply a code for the birth of the Antichrist or the ripping of the dimensional veil. And I saw a star fallen from heaven to earth, and he was given the key to the shaft of the bottomless pit. He opened the shaft of the bottomless pit, and from the shaft rose smoke like the smoke of a great furnace. Contessa Lene tu non lus, è per me un onore, è dal 1982 che San Giovanni Paolo II, permettetemi di congratulare a nome di tutti, alla città del Vaticano e ai fedeli di tutto il mondo, questo grande albero dei nostri amici di Malta. Questo albero proviene dai boschi di una delle tante valli del Trentino. So here I am back in Vatican City. It's about 11 o'clock at night. It's 
so I decided to come back and investigate uh, some more of the symbology and the point of making these videos is really to warn Catholics um, which I want to do more you know because there are real Christians in the Catholic Church who are deceived and this is maybe one of the ways that can help break the brainwashing the fact that there is hidden agendas going on and it's not worth getting too deep into that because it's not deep this is the the, the things of this world and the things of the enemy are not the deep things, the truly deep things are what it's copying. The truly deep things are the things of God and why do you think they keep constantly mirroring and copying and inverting these things to... because it's, it's a religion that is actually at its very heart with the Jesuit conspiracies uh, at the top levels and secret societies. They're trying to break the veil and bring through the Antichrist, uh, like we see in the book of Revelation. It's code for Revelation 9, the Immaculate Conception. Don't forget when you look at this from above, we're actually in this cradle right now. This circular shape is like a cradle. So, don't you think it's ironic that they have the birth of the false Christ in the middle of this cradle? Cradle of filth, cup of filth, you know, abominations. The things that are exposed about this area. Cradle of filth, think about it. And this, this whole thing here that I'm standing on is a clock. The sundial. So this is a representation of time. Cracking through time. Through the veil of time and space. So we're in the middle of a sundial and we've got the birth of the Antichrist cracking through time. Um, what does that tell you? It's that false Hegelian battle of light and dark that they use. Lucifer defeating the dragon. And it's all a counterfeit of the real Christ. They're just copying and mirroring and using this as a masquerade. So as I was saying, there's always two sides of the same coin and there's a hidden hidden side and a side that's in view, esoteric and exoteric. So the public are told that this is about Malta and a vicar going to Malta. But I ask you, you see the, the big Maltese cross which is essentially the Jesuits and the Knights of Malta and all that. But my question to you, as we know that there's some hidden sides to this, do you think that this is representing the disclosure, the black pope, the vicar of Christ, heralding the birth of Nimrod, the Antichrist? And remember, the obelisk represents an antennae, so harvesting energy for the conjuring up of this and uh, you know this has been the the ultimate goal all through these many many centuries and centuries since Babylon the ultimate goal has been to do this piercing the firmament the Tower of Babel we shall be like God This is the ultimate goal of the mystery schools. So what you're seeing here is a masquerade as Christianity. And that obelisk represents the uh, phallic with the circumcision of ancient Egypt. 
the false circumcision, the synagogue of Satan. Technically those who say they are Christians but do lie. Because this is all part of the ancient mystery schools of Babylon. It goes back to Babylon and Egypt. What does the Bible tell us about those? I'm sorry to say, but there's really nothing else to it. This, this whole place is a giant keyhole. Freemasonry, Illuminati, Enlightenment, all of that. Essentially Gnostic religion, which is, and, and Babylon, which is clearly against God, clearly against Christ, Antichrist. This is the fundamental truth to what all of this is representing and leading towards. And I just ask you, you know, if you truly love God, get out of it while you can because there is massive deception coming. we don't celebrate the ancient pagan festival of Saturnalia. Beware. Beware. 